So I just absolutely adore these cute little primitive hanging star candle holders. Yeah, that's what we're going to call them. So actually I was bidding on something else at an auction when they these went along with it. So they are actually like a burgundy in color, but I'm going to take them a little bit more primitive and make them black. So I'm just using some Rust-Oleum and I've kind of switched over to the spray enamel just because the Rust-Oleum's regular spray paint has went up in price and then I always need to seal that in with a polycrylic. But when it comes to the spray enamel, it's just one and done. <laughs> Now I could resell these as is, but I don't think they would attract anybody's attention very much. You know, black just faded in the background. So I'm actually going to add some tiny candle pip berry wreaths and this one that I um, actually has some rusty crusty stars on it. And Sarah that I get a lot of my decoupage paper, she also has these amazing pip berry Reese, along with these waxed candles, these better apparated candles. So I'll link her store down below if you don't have a area that you can find these primitives at. Hey guys welcome to the channel it is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab thank you for hopping on and checking out what I am up to and sometimes you might see a sneak peek from my husband Chris so anyway so in today's video this is metals so we you know secondhand finds a lot of times metals get rusty which I like rusty crusty or they sometimes they get sun bleached. Sometimes they need they are not an updated color that people want anymore. So in today's video, I am sharing with you the process of how I'm making some metals over to get them ready to resell. And then talk about sun bleached. Yes, this is definitely one that is sun bleached. It's been used outside, so it's got a little bit of that rust patina, but not a pretty faded black by any means. Not all transformations need to be a long process, and this is not. So after getting it washed up, getting everything cleaned up, just some hot water, some Dawn dish soap is all I use to wash any of these up and then let them thoroughly dry. That way they are ready to have the paint adhere to them properly. So I'm just going to be using that same black enamelware paint by Rust-Oleum. Now there's two different ones. There is a matte and a gloss and you have to go by the lid when you were purchasing this. So I actually chose the matte for this. next transformation is this beautiful cast iron mirror though I'm not a fan of that yellowy cream that is on there I don't I, personally not my taste and it's actually not as old as one would think well, you can tell by that sticker on the back but to paint this up I need to remove that mirror and if you're wondering why do I show such simple flips because I want to show you items that you may find secondhand that are easy for you to transform yourself. Not always um, are some of the items that I make over. I get a lot of comments sometimes that, you know, they wish they could find them in the thrift store or it's a little bit too difficult. So sometimes it's nice to do a video of something that is just a simple transformation. And actually the fourth screw was stripped, so I just left it in. I just really needed to remove that metal. It's no big deal spray painting over that one. Thank you. 
And I know what you're all thinking, black, 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 but black sells, especially when it comes to metals. Now, I found this three set, and at first I thought maybe they were a type of tool. I wasn't really sure, but the uniqueness and then the sticker at the bottom kind of gave it off that they were candlesticks. So after getting these spray painted up black, we're actually going to make them into primitive decor. Just by adding a piece of the homespun fabric in that black and brown cream gingham pattern along with one of those waxed battery operated candles. Oh my gosh, now we have three primitive candle holders. And then these were another one of our auction extras. These, I can't even tell you, you know these are new cast iron pieces, but that paint job is less to be desired. But a cute little metal rocking horse? Okay, so let's get these painted up. So I hope that you're still watching because now I have three pieces that were never intended to be together at all. And actually, nobody's getting painted. <laughs> we're actually just using some glue to glue them all together. Yes, there's something about rising up a birdcage on a candlestick that automatically sells y'all. I can't even explain it. Greenery, no greenery, bird's nest, no bird's nest, it doesn't really matter. So I've got all three pieces have been thrifted, they've been cleaned, and now what I'm going to do is use some of the Gorilla Glue to attach the candlestick to a, what used to be a cutting board, but the cutting board maybe, I think it's a cutting board, but there's no scratches, I don't need to sand it, it has beautiful patina on it. So I'm just going to end up gluing that and then to the wood and then gluing the birdcage to the wood and then just let time dry the glue and make sure that all the pieces and parts are good and adhered before touching it. So I gave it a good 24 hours and wow, what amazing piece just adding that pop of wood did to this. So now I love little cubby holders. This is one that Lori Jo gave me in the lot of items that she gave me all some of her wonderful, wonderful yummies. And there's just something about little cubbies. So at first I thought I was going to kind of do this as enamelware and I started um, spray painting it white. But then I decided that wasn't the route I wanted to go. Eh, sometimes that happens in the, even in the process of doing the project. And what really rerouted me is what I was going to put in this cubby. I just didn't like the vision of the white. So I'm actually in love with this metal effect rust patina. Oh my gosh, it's really a pretty easy process. I did some jingle bells during my Christmas DIYs that I just absolutely love how they turned out. So that's why I didn't want this to be white. I'm like, oh, well, that's not going to be a very good background. It's not going to look really what, the, what I'm envisioning. So the first step is to start off with two coats of your primer. And, and I'm not going to cover the entire item with the primer because I don't want it to be one solid ma mass color of rust. I kind of just want it to be where... You know how the corners and where it's touched and been touched, you know, kind of like distressing. Rust doesn't just build up all over an item all at once. And then your next step is to use the iron. So this is the black in color, same thing, two coats. Now I know that you can make patinas in different ways. This is just another one of the process. And I will share with you, I have tried the cinnamon and I haven't tried it on the candles yet. Y'all gave me a whole bunch of ideas on that, but I've actually tried that on metals and not a single one of those items sold for me. So I really do need to find a different way to make that patina. Now, yes, the other patinas I used to use, um, yeah, they 
they do the job too, but they have gone up in price. So I'm just trying another, ob- another way of doing it that maybe, you know, it's a different process. It's fun to try different processes. And this one seems to be a little bit more cost efficient. And then our third and our final step is the rust. So this comes in a spray. When it comes, it doesn't have the sprayer on. You have to put the sprayer on. And so then you just go ahead and do a light mist. I set my timer for five minutes because it said to wait five minutes in between and then do a second coating. On this one, I didn't really pay attention to the timing, but oh my gosh, look at that rust, that yumminess. And so this one is, you know, when you first do it, it's a little bit of a lighter in color than that real brownie rust. But then I seal it in with some weather defense and that definitely takes it up to that real rust color. Yes, you do need to seal it in with something. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And what did you think? Yes, metals. Yep, metals. <laughs> Who would have thought you could have a whole video on metals? But yes, you know, just not just candlesticks, you know, those are metal, but just little odds and ends that just, yeah, those horses were shiny. The stars were faded, purple, burgundy. Um, yeah, just adding a little bit of decor to those. Ooh pretty 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 <laughs> I just yeah you could sell them as is but I really think that somebody would want a little bit more out of those stars but yes just all those pieces and parts that just needed freshened up and I do not mind at all doing it with you or sharing the process with you all so give me a quick comment down below which one of the items that I made over today was your favorite along with have I inspired you to look at secondhand finds in a new way again if you're part of our YouTube family thank you so much and if you're new and you're checking out this channel for the first time and you liked what you saw please hit that subscription please hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded a new video and we will see you next time guys and you can see what we're up to. Bye.